Hello. Hello. Good, thanks, yes. Yeah, good. I am tired of being made to feel like my body is wrong for growing hair or taking up space. What if vacation preparation was about more than what you look like? Why did Dove ask six women with curvy thighs, rounder hips? I do remember this advert. I think it was the first of its kind which had women with normal body shapes. I remember being really encouraged by this and really thinking Dove was a brand, you know, for all women, all skin types, all ethnicities. When I think of Dove, I think of products that are good for the environment, good for your skin. Looking after your body, looking after yourself, feeling positive. Clean and healthy and inclusive. Plastic waste is piling up in the world's landfills, sewer systems, and in the ocean. From packaged food to disposable bottles, plastic is a part of daily life. In the time it takes you to watch this video, you could have softer, smoother skin. Growing up as a young Filipina, I was told that having wavy hair and brown skin was not beautiful. So when Dove told Filipinas and people of color that we're beautiful, that they care about us, I believed them. In reality, Dove is harming women and people of color everywhere, and they're fueling a plastic pollution crisis that destroys the futures of women and girls like me. Dove says they care about us, but they're pumping billions of single-use plastic bottles and highly polluting plastic sachets into our neighborhoods. Worse still, their plastic is being burnt near our homes, and we then breathe in the toxic fumes. I'm worried about my environment in the future. Our environment is already heavily polluted by plastic. Me and many children in Indonesia will not live and grow up in a safe and healthy environment because of plastic pollution dumping and burning. As children, we have the right to live in a safe, clean, and healthy environment. So the present generation should not steal our basic rights and endanger the lives of the next generation. Microplastics. Microplastics. Plastics that are less than five millimeters in size. And what they are are breakdown products of the plastics that we use in our everyday life. We can inhale them, we can ingest them, but they need to go through our skin. This makes me feel sick. Microplastics have been found in our livers, our lungs, and the breast milk we feed our babies. Plastic reduction is set to triple by 2050. Increasing greenhouse gas pollution causing even more natural disasters. While some folks may see oil and gas on the one hand and plastics on the other, I see them as one and the same. That is, the same companies reaping profits from all ends of the supply chain, from cradle to grave of their products and of our bodies. The ugly truth is that it's poisoning us with their single-use plastic. They know they are causing us real harm, but they don't care as long as they're raking in billions in profit. The whole branding on social media was all about look after your body, look after yourself, look after your skin, we're really good for you. They almost advertise themselves as being green. And then for this to be shown of how much damage they're doing to the environment, I think it's disgraceful that brands can get away with doing this. Just because you're not breaking the law doesn't mean it's right. They're being harmful to the same people they're trying to say that they're caring for. They're a household name, and you don't expect that from household names. You expect them to have integrity, to take pride in being a good company, and this isn't the behaviour of a good company. They need to change everything about their organisation to make it about the planet and about the future of everyone who lives here. Be that organisation that history will look back on and say, this is when it changed. This is when 
large organisations started to take responsibility and started to make a difference. If I asked you now to say three words to describe Dove, what would you say? Definitely harmful. Wasteful. Irresponsible. Toxic. Hypocrites. Disappointing. Dishonest. Greedy.